in context and right now seeing the surge in coronavirus cases a lot of you are thinking about back to school putting your kids back into our classrooms as well as our educators administrators so we're here to help you out we're on your side not just putting the curve in context but also giving you the top headlines that you need to know so here they are this morning the top three things concerning the coronavirus and back to school students in duval county public schools will have 10 extra days of summer the school board voted just last night to delay the start of the school year from August 10th to the 20th. Again, in Duval County, our kids will be going back to school on the 20th. The board also approved reopening plans that includes various learning options for students in all grade levels. The district extended the deadline for parents to sign up for Duval Homeroom, the virtual learning option, until next Friday. So if you are considering the virtual learning option, Duval Homeroom, you have until next Friday to sign up for that. Students in Nassau County also have a new start date. The school board voted yesterday and now schools will start on August 24th. Again, in Nassau County, school is set to start on the 24th. Let's head to Baker County now, one of our smaller school districts. The superintendent says they will not be delaying school there. Baker has just about 5,000 students. Now, Baker is also our focus today in our learning curve where we're bringing you all you need to know county by county. Our Leah Shields right now it lets us know what's happening in Baker County, including a decision made by the superintendent that's pretty interesting when it comes to masks and the options. Baker County schools will be one of the first counties to welcome students back on the first coast on August 10th. We have a teacher table that's kind of spread out with chairs, so the main thing is just again the social distancing as much as feasible. Superintendent Sherry Rollerson rolled out the reopening plan this week. Teachers are getting their classrooms ready with signs about social distancing and good hygiene. The superintendent says virtual school is an option, but it won't be like it was last semester. She says this time it'll really feel like you are kind of back in school. We're encouraging, if possible, the face to face because we know that that's the best that that, that our children uh, can receive is that face to face. But if you have a family that needs the other, we have that option too. I got a first look at what a kindergarten classroom looks like during COVID-19. Kindergarten classes here usually have about 18 kids. Chairs are spread out to encourage social distancing. The mat will provide extra seating. Students have supply buckets that will be used to keep their materials separated and clean. Although masks are optional for everyone in Baker County Schools, this sign will welcome students in, encouraging them to take part. In Baker County, Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side.